gonna make chocolate mousse. I'm doing white and dark chocolate mousse and I am making it in these little cups. Here I'll show you. These little cups. You can buy them in your supermarket or if you have a good mold or you can make them out of little balloons. Okay, now for that I'm using half a recipe, so this is for half a recipe. Okay, do we starting off with the dark chocolate? So put this in a bowl. Yes, so this is 50 grams of chocolate with 50 grams of water in the microwave melted and put into this bowl. Okay. And you need to put one egg yolk. Mix it in. I'm just going to mix it in with the fork. The same way. So 50 grams of chocolate. White chocolate, I mean. And 50 grams of water. In the microwave and melt it and mix it. And a fork again. Just lightly, just, just so you can break it and mix it a bit. Pour that. Yeah, something like that. It'll go a bit of a dark together. It'll go a bit of dark. Need two bowls. And from the egg you need an egg white for each of them. So one egg white for the dark chocolate, one egg white for the milk. And you need to beat that until it's soft peaks. Then add a add two teaspoons of sugar and then beat it till it's stiff peaks. Mix in the chocolate. Oops. I'm going to set that aside. Now I'm going to whisk the second egg white. For my white chocolate mix. And pour it in and fill them up. These cups I got in my local supermarket. Now, leftovers, you can fill up more or you can put them in bowls and just store them like that. That's what I'm going to do with my leftover. Now, tap them. One. Two. 
and you want to get this is grated white chocolate this is grated milk chocolate grated milk chocolate over the white chocolate mix and the white chocolate flakes over the dark chocolate mix You want to put them in the fridge for half an hour and then you can serve them. Once I come back, I'll show you the finished result. Bye. Here are my light, my chocolate boosters. This is the dark chocolate one with the white chocolate flaky stuff on top. And this is my white chocolate with the milk chocolate flaky bits on top. Don't they look great? Please comment and subscribe down below and my real recipe will be on my blog at leahsbakingcorner.blogspot.com See you next time. Bye! Thank you.